What's up YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I wanted to talk about my new favorite line of devices and that is Chromebooks and specifically and specifically I want to talk about my favorite Chromebook that I've used thus far and that's actually the 2015 Chromebook Pixel 2. Now if you're unfamiliar with that it's Google's own Chromebook it's essentially the generation prior to the current Pixel book that you see all the hype about that they released last year but this is the second of three different Chromebook models made by Google. They made the first one in 2013, then they went and refreshed it in 2015, and now you got the Pixel Book. But when all three of them came out, they were, of course, essentially the Apple of the Chromebook world, as in you're paying a super premium, but it's the nicest Chromebook you could possibly get on the planet, bar none. And of course, they all started for about a thousand bucks, and the current gen Pixel Book also starts for a thousand bucks. And they start with an i5 and then you can go all the way up to a core i7. And if you know anything about Chrome OS, that's just insane. Because uh, most Chromebooks, your low-end Chromebooks at around 300 bucks, they run off of, you know, like mobile phone type processors. And even with those processors, they're very fast. And most Chromebooks are anywhere from between 2 and 4 gigs of RAM. And really, that's all you need. But I have to say, with the Chromebook Pixel or the... Pixel book that's the current gen they just there is no Chromebook as fast as these there's no Chromebooks that perform as well as these because of those specs now of course it is a little overkill but totally worth it in the end but this video I want to focus again on my favorite all-time Chromebook being the 2015 Chromebook Pixel so that's a mouthful but the design of this thing is just awesome it's an all aluminum body it's got two USB-C's. Now you got to remember this was made in 2015. So at that time, USB-C's were brand new. Now with this, you do charging and data transfer with it. It also has two USB type A ports. So you do not need a dongle for it. And it also has a full size SD card slot. So you can expand the storage via that and or hook an external drive to it. Now this comes with a 64 gigabyte SSD. Like I said, you can get the i7 model, which is the LS, which stood for ludicrous speed. But the i5 that I have is a 2.2 gigahertz. It's got Intel integrated graphics, and I think they're 5500, which is essentially the same graphics you get in like a 2015 MacBook Air. <clears throat> but again, remember, you're running Chrome OS on this. And also, you're running Android apps on it. So that is what has made Chromebooks compelling for me. So... I picked up my 2015 model about six months ago. I got it on eBay for about 400 bucks. And I was kind of torn because I was looking at the current gen Pixel book. And when I went and played with it, I just, I don't like, personally, I don't necessarily like the design of it. Um, you can use that. It's supposed to be a two in one as a tablet, but the ports are USB C only. Um, and I just kind of, there's something about the white silicone on the back that I, I don't really like. But, as far as design wise, I just think the 2015 looks better. And when it comes to performance, I don't think you're going to see any performance difference between the current gen Pixel Book or the 2015 Chromebook Pixel 2. And the best thing is obviously the price. Like I said, if you go out and buy a Pixel Book right now, you're going to pay about a thousand bucks. And they're on sale sometimes, so anywhere between 800 and a thousand bucks, let's say. But like I said, if you go on eBay, which is really about the only place I've been able to find the older models now, um, you can get them anywhere from 400 to 600 bucks for the i5. And then if you want the LS model, the i7 model, then it's going to be another couple hundred bucks. But ultimately, you can get it for about half of what you can get a Pixel Book for. And I got to tell you, like I said, mine is three years old now, but the battery life is still excellent. I get anywhere between we'll say 10 to 12 hours of battery. And when it came out, Google advertised that you could charge it for 15 minutes and get two hours of battery life. And I'll say that that still holds true. The battery life is excellent. It charges really quick and the performance is just phenomenal. So talking about the performance, you can actually run a 4k monitor through this at 60 Hertz. And that is pretty impressive for a Chromebook. So in the Chromebook world, that's just unheard of. So with this, you can see my current setup. I've got two monitors. Now, one of them is 1080p and the other is only 720p. So no 4K monitors here, but I will say running two monitors with this 
no hiccup, no delay, no lag whatsoever. So it works excellent. And I'm going to tell you that since I've been using Chromebooks now for a year, I just, I really don't miss having a Mac or a PC because I can do everything I want to do on the Chromebook with the exception of video editing and or if I want to do PC gaming because obviously it's a Chromebook so you're not going to game on it unless you play some simple Android apps or Android games. But with the video editing, like I mentioned in a previous video, I still use my iPad. So I keep my iPad around because I use LumaFusion and LumaFusion exclusively for editing video. But there are some options on the Chromebook if you want to edit video. It's just they're not very good. They're Android apps, which Android apps in general have never been that great. Um, they just, Android does a terrible job of optimizing their app store for tablets. And in this case, Chromebooks. Now there are some apps now that Google has specifically been putting in the Play Store um, and optimizing for Chromebooks um, exclusively. And that's the Microsoft Office apps work excellent on this. And that's why I'm able to replace my PC or Mac is I use Office now, but not as much as I did when I was military. And they work really good on here. It's optimized really well for mouse support, which you can't do on an iPad. And they just look really good. They uh, scale up really well and they just perform really well. And there's about <clears throat> 12 apps in the Google Play Store that says exclusively, I mean, they work on tablets, but they're in a the little Chromebook section. And if you look at the Play Store, you know what I'm talking about. So, but anyways, like I said, I've been using Chromebooks for a year. I started with the um, Chromebook Plus, used that. I highly recommend it. It's by Samsung. And uh, that costs you about $449 new. Now they've got a second gen model which I've actually got the Chromebook Plus right here. Highly recommend it. Works as a tablet, has an S Pen, but I can cover this in a second video, separate video if you like. But for the price of that though, I, could go, I was able to go on eBay and get this, which again is just the supercomputer of Chromebooks. To me, the 2015 Pixelbook looks like a cross between the 2015 MacBook Pro in the 2016. So it's like they took them and kind of smashed them together, but the build quality is just phenomenal. And my favorite feature, and one of the reasons I didn't want to get the Pixelbook, is just the light bar on the back. It is just an awesome little attention to detail. It reminds me of the light up Apple logo, but instead of an Apple, of course, you're getting Google's own little color light bar. And also when it's asleep and the lid is closed, if you tap on it three times, it tells you the battery status. And it's just Kind of a neat little attention to detail, but I just, cosmetically, I like it. You know, if you go into Starbucks or any coffee shop, you'll see the sea of MacBooks. And to me, it just kind of sticks out. It's a unique device. It looks really good cosmetically, and the performance is excellent. Like I said, it's going to outperform battery life-wise any laptop out there nowadays. And depending on what you're doing, it's going to do that better too, because with an i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and an SSD, I mean, web browsing, mobile stuff, it just kills it. So if you have any questions on it or just Chromebooks in general, hit me up in the comments and I'll try and explain it the best I can. But all I can tell you is if you've not tried a Chromebook, you've got to try it. And if you're in the market for one, the one I would recommend is if you can find them because they're getting harder to find, go on eBay or other market sites. If you can find a Chromebook Pixel 2, uh, which is a 2015 model, scoop it up. I'm telling you, you won't regret it, especially if you're trying to move to the Chrome, Chrome OS and using Chromebooks. Now, I would tell you that you can get the original Chromebook Pixels out there fairly cheap for like 200 bucks. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, but I would stay away from those only because, one, the battery life is not good on those, really not good at all, and two, because that one does not support the Android or I'd say the Google Play Store. So you can't run Android apps on that. So I would shy away from that. I would pay the extra two to 300 bucks and get you the second gen model. But like I said, they're getting harder to find. And of course, if you've got money burning a hole in your pocket, go with the Pixelbook. I'm not saying it's a bad device. I'm just saying personally, I prefer the 2015 model over the current gen model. I just think it looks better. And performance wise, you're not gonna see any difference whatsoever. Now, obviously, the newer model is going to have better specs, but 
when you translate that into real world use, you'll see zero difference. And I still think the 2015 model has better battery life. Now the display on it, which I didn't talk about, is essentially retina quality. I think it's 226 PPI or something, whatever that is. Um, but I'll tell you, it's not quite 4K, but the human eye, I don't think you're really going to tell the difference. I mean, it's a phenomenal display. It's display. It's extremely bright, so if you're outside using it, you're not going to have any issues unless obviously the sun is right to your back and coming down. But this was just a quick video, me sharing what my favorite Chromebook is. I want to do some more Chromebook videos. There's some that I want to get my hands on, like I want to get the HP X2, which is the first detachable Chromebook, so it's a true two-in-one Chromebook. I really want to get that and try it out and do a video on it. But like I said, if you've got any other questions on Chromebooks or want to see a video on a particular Chromebook, if I can do it, I will. So just shoot it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Thanks.